We've seen some terrible performances from United since Fergie retired, but that 4-0 right there against Everton has to be up there with the worst of them. United have now lost five and six. United's top four chances are done. That team is not finishing in the top four. And as far as I'm concerned, the overwhelming majority of that team should not be at Manchester United next season. Now, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is in charge of this club and he's been given the contract already. And I said it at the time, that was a mistake. United did not need to announce Solskjaer before the end of the season. Not because I felt that Solskjaer was the wrong manager, but because I didn't see a reason why United would need to rock the boat by giving Solskjaer that contract and ending the questions. Because if there's one thing that United needed to get right this time, it's the, it's the managerial appointment. And as I said, I think Solskjaer still is the right man. I'm not going to fucking turn on Solskjaer because of what these terrible players are doing to my football club. Solskjaer is the right man, but I don't understand why he was given the contract before the summer. I thought United needed to wait, make sure. I mean, Mike Phelan hasn't even signed yet. Why has that not happened? That's confusing. But the focus today has to be the players. And hardly, if any, come out of that with any sort of real merit. Popper, woeful. Lukaku, woeful. Martial, rash rubber shit. De Gea, again making mistakes. The whole defence. At what point do you say... Hmm, maybe the problem at United is not the manager. Moyes, Van Howe, Mourinho, Solskjaer, and we're still seeing the same problems. With some of the same players going the whole way through, but every player that we seem to sign, that seems to be fucking wrong. You know, Solskjaer's job was always going to be major this summer, and I think the saving grace from these terrible performances, and this, I think, we've first time we've lost five and six in... Jesus Christ... I don't know when. But the problems are coming to the surface. United are an open wound at the moment. And we're seeing all the problems. Gary Neville's blood's boiling. Everybody's blood's boiling. And why wouldn't it be after Everton? Come on, man. All credit to Everton. Played very well. Made them look like Barcelona in their prime today. A team that struggled massively against relegated Fulham recently. Just pumped United 4-0 and it could have been 5 or 6. Our first shot on target was the 86th minute. But all the focus here, for me, is on this squad and on these players because I back Solskjaer. United made a big mistake announcing it before the end of the season, rocking the boat. It was unnecessary. Really unnecessary. But United did that. Edward Wood and Co. made that decision. And now we're seeing a fallout. So with the players, the whole of United looks like two different clubs pre and post that announcement pre and post the PSG game where United peaked and now we're at the bottom. The players aren't consistent enough. The players aren't playing for Solskjaer enough. I mean, come on. The effort levels there were absolutely abysmal. There's no real player in that squad that I would say doesn't deserve huge amounts of criticism from that performance today. And there are only a, a limited amount of players in that squad that I will be happy to see starting for United next season. And that's what scares me the most. Is We all know that this is not something that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer can solve, even if he's the messiah of the manager and he turns out to be like Zidane or Guardiola at Real Madrid and Barcelona. You can't solve this in one summer. There are simply too many players that need to leave that squad and be replaced for it to happen in one summer. And we don't even have a fucking technical director at the moment. Where do we turn? What do we do? Between now and the end of the season, play the kids. Play the kids. I don't want to see Lukaku starting for United anymore. I don't want to see Martial there slumping his shoulders, not giving a shit. Play Greenwood. Play Gomez. And if I see this same United squad there turn up against City and play mustard football, it's probably going to piss me off even more. Because that's what we are, hot and cold. No consistency whatsoever. That incredible run of form at the start under Solskjaer was a wave of enthusiasm at the start. And then it built into consistency. We saw the similar sort of starting 11s. The players were playing for the manager. And momentum was with us. But then PSG happened. And after that, we've gone off the cliff edge. Solskjaer's been given the job, which was, as far as I was concerned, inevitable after those sorts of successes 
the club would never have turned their back on a club legend who was doing so well as a manager. But we were naive to give him the contract when, he, when we did. It was just unnecessary. We could have given ourselves a little bit more time. Yes, the questions would have still been asked to Solskjaer, but effectively he got the job after 12 games. As I said, that I don't... I'm not saying Solskjaer out, so don't you dare try and twist my words and what I'm saying here. We were naive and stupid as a football club to give him the contract when we did. He deserves it, and he still deserves it. But it should have happened at the end of the season. And for me, that's a major mistake that United have made and a major reason why we're seeing the fallout now. The players, they know Solskjaer is going to be manager. They're comfortable just dotting along, so many playing like mercenaries, so many playing just for the check. And I know it's naive of me as a football fan to, to expect my players to really care about United more than it being just a job for them. Because ultimately, for a lot of them, it just is a job. But fuck it. That's exactly what I want. And that's what needs to happen this summer, is the players that are just there, Alexis Sanchez, get out. Romelu Lukaku, I put him out as well. So, pfft, there's too many players to name right now. But what we've seen there was the crescendo of United's problems this season. We're now spread-eagled on the floor, bleeding from a humiliating defeat against Everton. And I don't know what we're going to see now, between now and the end of the season, but top four's gone. The scale of Solskjaer's job becomes more apparent with each and every game that passes and I don't think United are capable of doing what we need to do to get to Liverpool and City within one summer. But Solskjaer is the right manager. United made a mistake in announcing it when they did. But so many of these players just need to get out of my club because they don't deserve to play for United. And until that happens, the disease will still be here. Mourinho might have been a problem before and Solskjaer might be the right man to take us forward. But that squad, that squad is going to get us absolutely nowhere ever until it changes. Let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. But for me, I'm furious to see that. But I'm not surprised.